All right, hello and welcome everybody to the Flight Sim Fan video. Uh, we're back talking about uh, how to plan flights and uh, what to look for. Today's tutorial for today is going to be uh, weather. So today, mainly specifically, we're going to be looking at METARs and TAFs. Uh, METARs are obviously the uh, weather that's been reported on the hour, and then TAFs are forecasts. So METARs are reported weather, and then the, the TAFs are forecasted weather predictions of what's going to happen. So we're going to start off here in Toronto, and we're going to click on little blue diamond here. This is four flight, by the way, and we'll click on METAR. Now, four flight actually does break it off for you and tells you in plain English. But if you're using any of the uh, government websites, uh, for example, AWWS for um, for Canada, they're going to give it to you in this format, and you can choose plain English. But it's just faster to read it in here. So to read this, uh, it says METAR. CYYZ is the Toronto Airport code. It's the time, so it's the 20th day, which is correct, at 1700 Zulu. So Zulu time in Canada to get to local, it's minus 4. We have the wind here, which is 120 degrees at 0, 04 knots, so pretty light wind. This is, by the way, in true. This is not magnetic heading. Anytime you see a weather, uh, anytime you see wind written down, it's in true, not in magnetic. When the tower gives you a wind, so if they'll say, um, you know, Air Canada 485, wind is 280 at 5, clear to land, 24 right, something like that. Uh, the, the wind that they give you from tower is magnetic. So if it's spoken to you, ATIS as well. If it's spoken to you, magnetic. If it's written, it's true. This is our visibility for today, uh, on the hour anyways. And this is actually 20 minutes old already because it's, uh, it's 121 currently. So this is uh, a good 20 minutes old already. So the visibility today currently is 15 statute miles. So plenty of visibility. And they usually don't report more than 15. Uh, it's usually 15 or greater. For the most part, you got a few clouds at 6,000 feet AGL, so not ASL, AGL. A few clouds at 26,000 feet AGL above the airport, and uh, we got the temperature, which is uh, 30 degrees Celsius, and the dew point of 15 degrees Celsius. So the dew point is the temperature at which, if you hit it. Uh, the water will start to get that or the moisture will start to condense so if you see that the uh, temperature and dew point are the same so if this was 29 to 30 uh sorry if this was yeah 29 to 30 and you got 29 to 30 degrees of temperature uh, they're within one to two degrees of each other you're going to start seeing some cloud formation if they're uh let's for example say there were 30 and 30 temperature and dew point were the same uh, you're pretty much going to expect some heavy fog on that day so the dew point uh and the temperature are the same You'll expect some heavy fog. Uh, it gives you the altimeter setting for your altimeter gauge. So you'd put in your little window there, 30.01, and you'd verify that the uh, altitude is correct, which in Pearson, the altimeter should show five, pretty much 570, 569. Okay, then you have the remarks section, which is kind of nice to know information. It tells you the cloud breakup, uh, sea level pressure down here, density, altitude. So you see the clouds are cumulus, an octave, uh, octus of one, a cirrus clouds, octus of one, so it'll say that things like that. Some nice to know information down there. Um, now if we look at the TAF, the TAFs are forecasts. So we go to the forecast section, it says CYYZ TAF. You got a lot of stuff here. So let's break it down chunk and chunk. So this is first line, and we'll just break it up in one. So this is the first line here. So it's taken on the 20th day at 1438 Zulu. So to get local again, you take this time minus four for Toronto. That is, it changes as you go uh, west and east of Toronto. All right, one final note about METARs. They don't um, always have to be each hour. If there is a significant change in weather, they can issue things called species. Now, I'm going to try to find one. Toronto doesn't have one currently. Let's use our little... Okay, so I pulled up Vancouver, and looks like right there is the species. So let's figure out what was different here. So we had Toronto, or sorry, we had Vancouver, 20th day at 1700 Zulu, 120 at 6, 120 at 6. I already see it. Four miles went down to two mile visibility. 
rain, mist, few clouds, 700. Now we have an RVR report. So we have runway 08 left, 5,500 feet to, uh, to 6,000 variable. So it's a 500 foot uh, fluctuation. Upward trend, so it's an upward trend. Okay, scattered 1500, broken 24. We got heavy rain, so the plus means heavy rain. We got mist. Uh, overcast 33, scattered 500, broken 1300. So a lot lower clouds, heavy rains blown in. You got an RVR going off for eight left. So pretty much the viz come down. The rain has started, mists come in, clouds have been lowered. Now going back to that tip about the temperature dew point, let's go look at that. 17 and 16, very close together. There's still 17 and 16. I'm expecting that to be pretty close, but uh, the fog is still a mile, a mile or so. So um, you'll we'll wait and see if uh, the, if it gets worse, and if it gets worse visibility and the fog really comes in, uh, you'll see the. Uh, temperature dew point pretty close but you can see the difference between Toronto which which is actually right here at 30 at 15 so 30 degrees Celsius 15 degrees dew point you got few clouds at 6,000 feet pretty high up there few clouds at 26,000 feet down here with the temperature dew point spread very close together only one degree off uh, actually it's, that's kind of interesting standard day uh, altimeter anyways uh, with them close together you got super low viz not super low but it's low viz and you got eight left uh, super low compared to 15. And then you got an RVR report going off, and you got mist, you got clouds, low altitudes, so you can expect lower, um, you can expect more cloud formation and a fog with the closer you get to the dew point spread and the temperature on the most basic level there. So that's a special. So you can see the difference between the METAR that was reported. This one was 33 minutes after this report. Uh, this started just happening. And so they issued a special saying, uh, this takes precedence now, so don't look at that anymore. This is the current, what's happening right now at 1733, which is already about uh, 10 minutes old and I'm looking at it, something like that. And that's what's going on. We got, this is the forecast for this period. This is a 33 hour forecast. So it's take, this is from the 20th day at 1500 Zulu all the way to the 21st day at 1800 Zulu. So it's a 33 hour forecast for this one. And you'll see it says variable winds, three knots. Nice. Plus six statute miles, or uh, prevailing six statute miles. And then a uh, few clouds at 6,000 feet AGL. Becoming. So this becoming means it's a gradual change. It's gonna be gradually changing. So becoming or gradually changing from 15 Zulu on the 20th day to 17 Zulu on the 20th day. So it's going to be gradually changing for two hours. The wind's going to go to 160 at 12 knots of wind. True. Then from. From means at this point in time, the forecaster believes that from 1800 Zulu on the 20th day, you will have 160, uh, 160 degrees true at 12 knots of wind, prevailing six statute miles of visibility and scattered clouds at 6,000 feet AGL. So this one, as you can see, it's changing into 160 at 12 knots. And they're saying at 1800, you will have that wind now at 160 at 12 knots. Finally, down here, we have a tempo. So tempo is anywhere between this time for no longer than an hour, the weather is going to be plus six miles, stat, uh, plus, uh, sorry, prevailing six statute miles, vicinity thunderstorms, so that's not good, and a broken cloud, 6,000 AGL, cumulonimbus, CBs, so some cumulus clouds with rain coming out of them. Then we got some more firms and all that. But the basic, what I was trying to get at is you have the Kind of like a wide forecast, the longest forecast period, 33 hour one, tells you kind of the general conditions you should be expecting. And then it breaks it up into becoming, which is a gradual change, and then a from. So that's how to read the TAFs. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video on METARs and TAFs. If you have any questions, you can please leave them down below, and I'll hopefully be able to answer them. <laughs> so I'll see you on the next one. All right, one quick note at the end of the video here. This is the vicinity thunderstorms that Taff was talking about, so they're, they're already there. <laughs>